Oh, y'all come on in, come on in and sit down, pull up a chair. Let me tell you, life has a way of humbling you real quick, don't it? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am Wynell, this is Wynell TV. So I don't normally do story times on this channel, but I decided if it's received well, I'll start doing a few, you know, here and there. Now this story is about how I was got so embarrassed one time. So I'm not a spring chicken. If you've been on my channel before, you would know that, but I'm not ready to retire either. So when I tell you about what happened to me, I was mortified. I was mortified. So it started out a week. For about a week, I had a um, swollen gland right here, swollen lymph node. That lasted about a week. And then that weekend, my throat started getting sore. So I decided to call a doctor because it was getting sore with the kind of earache pain right here in the neck, um, right under my ear. And, you know, with the panorama going on, uh, you know, I'm not trying to, you know. So I started running a slight fever, about 100, 101, a little mid-grade fever. Um, so I said, well, I'm going to call the doctor and see if he will send me some antibiotics to Walmart pharmacy. I take the antibiotics. Everything is everything. Well, that wasn't the case. So I call the doctor and they ask the normal COVID questions. Have you been running a fever? Can you taste or smell everything? I'm like, yeah, I just ate a Sonic tater tot, chili cheese tater tot uh, thing, you know, it was fire. I, yeah, I can taste and smell everything. I'm, you know, I'm not running fevers or nothing like that. You know, I take ibuprofen and that would calm the pain down in my neck and throat and uh, keep the fever down. So he tells me that he would like to do a COVID test. And all I can think about is you jabbing me up my nose because that's what I've seen. The whole year of 2020, I never got a COVID case, uh, a COVID test. Um, you know, I, I was never sick or running fever, so I didn't need a COVID test. So I uh, told him, okay, I'll, I'll come in. So he had me come in that day around 3.30. So I get there and a nurse comes out that you pull up and you call this number that's outside. And a nurse comes out and ushers you in. Like, why is why why are they doing that? I don't know. But anyway, and she comes out, gowned up, gloved up, masked up. So we go in, and I've been sitting in the doctor's office, and uh, I forgot to tell you one thing that was added to my lymph node swelling, the sore throat. I also had a boil. Now, what really made me call the doctor to get some antibiotics was this boil. And the boil popped up on my body. You know, you can get boils anywhere on your body. But in this case, the boil popped up on my butt. And not just the, the part of the butt you can see. It came between the buttocks. Yes, right where the butt cheeks meet, that's where it was. Where you sit down, the part you sit on. I don't have much of a butt. So, you know, I don't have a lot of cushion, a lot, you know. So, I had to get that scene about because it hurt like hell. I, I, I'd rather have a paper cut than to have a ball on that part of my ass. It could have popped up anywhere in the world that it wanted to on my body. But it decided 
to come on my buttocks between the cheeks. Painful to say the least. So I'm in the doctor's office and I'm waiting for someone to come in there. So the doctor finally comes in. This young doctor, uh, blonde, he looked like he's about 27. Um, and he feels my throat and everything, looks at my throat, says, oh, it looks kind of swollen. I'd like to do a strep test and go ahead and just on precaution do a COVID test. I said, do you have the rapid? Because people already put me up on game. Ask for the rapid test. That's the one they swab you in your mouth instead of juking the cotton swab up your nose. So I was like, great, let me get that rapid about you. So he goes, oh, no, I don't think we have the rapid. I'm like, fuck. So my, meanwhile, before I got to the clinic, my boss told me, you should go to uh, Columbia University where they do the rapid test and then we can get the results back the next day. I'm like, I'm not going to drive. For me, it's 40 minutes to get to Columbia. He claims it takes him 20. I don't know what speed you be doing, but it takes me 40 minutes to get there. So the doctor leaves and he comes back out. I agree to the COVID. Fuck it. Just juke me up my nose so I can get it over with. Uh, I agree to do the COVID test. So he comes back in. He says, oh, look, I do have a rapid. I was like, yes. So he swabs my mouth. He says, you know, these aren't as accurate as the swab up the nose he says um they're they're not that accurate so if it comes back negative it could turn positive so i was like oh my fucking god okay so i see he says you said you had a you had a boil you, you mind if i look at it so i'm like yeah so i get up drop trial turn around toot it out and he's opening my butt and he's pushing on I'm like oh my oh my fucking god I cannot I cannot so he's done he says well it looked like it's on the surface um so I pull my pants up he says you mind if I look at it again I'm like bro are you serious right now get up drop trial again he looking at it opens my butt looking at it mashing on it I'm like, come on. So, put my pants up. He says, I'll be right back. So, he comes back. And he gives me the diagnosis. He says, the strep came back negative. Uh, looks like I have lymphatic, uh, some infection of the lymph nodes. Layman terms. So, he says, he's going to give me a prescription. And uh, I said, so what you going to do about this boil on my butt? Because it hurts. I'd rather eat cat shit with, chaps, with chopsticks than to have this boil. So he says, well, it looks like it's on the surface. Um, now, I could find the tools and we can try to, you know, lance it and we'll spray some topical stuff on there and I was like, no, what's the other thing you could do? He said, well, you can go home and wait about seven days and see if it comes to a head on its own. Um, he says, uh, but if it gets worse, gets bigger, or starts to hurt more, you need to come back in. So I leave the doctor's office, and I'm driving to Walmart to pick up my antibiotics. And I forget to turn off the uh, heated seats in my car when it's warm outside. And this particular day, I think it was like 50 or something like that. It was nice out. And um, I forget, but it felt good though. So, and in my mind, I was like, yeah, come on, heat the seats, heat up this boil and bust it. Because the doctor had told me before I left, you know, go home and every 15 minutes, put warm towel on it, you know, to, every 15 minutes to try to bring it to a head. I'm like, yeah, come on, heated seats. Bust this boy. Ooh, bring it up. So I get to Walmart, and I got a pee so bad. So I'm like, God, I got to go directly 
to the bathroom as soon as I get in Walmart. So I get in Walmart, go to the bathroom, I pee, I go to wipe. There's blood, like bright red blood everywhere. I'm like, oh my God, it busted. The heated seats busted the boil, brought it to a head. I was elated, but I was bleeding profusely. So I'm in the bathroom, right? So I get some toilet paper and I stick it back there on the boil, you know, so blood ain't running all down my leg. So, uh, side note, I haven't worn underwear in like five years. Okay. That's just that. So I'm walking from the bathroom to the pharmacy and I'm like, oh my God, I hope this tissue does not fall out my ass because it will be bloody and mugs just going to know Oh, she on her period, and if and she had tissue in her shit, and it fell on the floor. Oh my God, man, that was the longest walk to the pharmacy ever. So I get to the pharmacy, so I'm standing there. So I get my medicine. I'm on my way back, heading out to the car. It's a nice little walk. So I'm walking, and I'm like, Ooh, please don't fall out. Please don't fall out. It fell out. It fell out. It hit my leg on the way down. I couldn't stop it. And I sure wasn't finna stop walking. I kept walking. I kept walking up out of there. Baby, I got to my car so damn quick and screwed up out of there. Oh my God. I don't even think I could show my face up in there for like a month. I can't I can't go back in Walmart because I know it fell out of my butt and it was bloody because that that it took like two days for the boil to stop bleeding. It was bleeding that bad after it bust. And, oh, my God, I can't go back in there. I got to go to another grocery store. I can't even, I can't even go back in Walmart. Whew. So that's how uh, my one embarrassing moment. If you guys have an embarrassing uh, story, um, put it down in the comments and share uh, hopefully some of y'all can relate that's happened before. Maybe not bloody tissue falling out your pants, but you've had something similar happen. Yeah, life will humble you real quick. Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video and subscribe. And I hope I didn't overshare too much. I love you for watching.